Okay, so how do you get better at algebra? Well, you get better at algebra just the same way as you get better at anything else, and that is practice, practice, practice. So we're going to practice solving the uh, basic equations here in just one second, but the idea behind practice is you want to practice correctly. Now imagine if you were trying to get better at shooting a basketball. All right, so here is your little basketball net right there. And if you're kind of like not practicing correctly and you're throwing the ball, you're bouncing it around, you're not really concentrating or using proper technique, you can do, you know, practice all day long, but you're not going to get better at it, okay? So when you're practicing mathematics or algebra, you really need to know the proper technique, the proper format, the proper uh, approach, and then you want to do a lot of problems, okay? So if you're just doing a bunch of problems and not getting better, well, it's chances are you're probably not practicing correctly. So we're going to uh, make sure you know how to do basic equations. And we're going to do that by looking at this practice problem here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that all students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, the student has to be willing to put in the work uh, do the homework, take the notes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the second thing they need is great math instruction, clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can definitely help you out. I'm going to leave a link uh, to my math help program in the description of this video. You can check out all my math courses there. If you happen to be uh, preparing for any sort of test with the math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB. GRE, GMAT, maybe a teacher certification exam. I have a large library of test prep courses that can help you out. Um, if you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school homeschool math courses that can help you out. And if this video helps you out, consider helping me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get into uh, this basic equation. This is something that you would see at the middle school level, definitely at the pre-algebra level. But if you don't know how to solve it, don't panic. Okay, this video, we're gonna go through the exact proper technique and I'm gonna kinda of cover some um, uh, main ideas in terms of solving any equation. But if you wanna put your answer into the comment section, go ahead and do so. Uh, if you wanna just take a moment to solve this, it'll take you all of about 30 seconds. But let's go ahead and get into this now. All right, so when you're solving any equation in algebra, here are some main ideas you want to keep in mind. So the first is you want to move all your variable terms to the left and all your numbers to the right. Okay, so let's notice up here in this particular equation, I have uh, y's here. So I want to move this y over there. I want to move all my variable terms to the left and all my numbers to the right. So how we move those, well, we're going to have to uh, take what we... Uh, uh, take steps called inverse operations. So you're going to see here that the opposite or the inverse of addition is subtraction. The opposite of subtraction is uh, addition. So the opposite of multiplication is division and opposite of division is multiplication. So you're going to want to be thinking about these steps here in a second. Another thing that's important when you're solving equations is this idea of a balance. Okay. So you want to keep your equation in balance. Notice the equation has this equal symbol. Okay, so for example, if I have five, five pounds over here and I have five pounds over here, well, this equation is in balance. Okay, if I add, uh, let's say, three over here, well, now it's not in balance. This becomes like heavier, right? And then the scale goes like that. But if I add three to this side of the equation, as long as I add three to this side of the equation, it keeps the scale or it keeps the equation in balance. So one of the main ideas in algebra when you're solving equations is whatever you do to one side of the equation, as long as you do it equally to the other side of the equation, you will be okay. Okay, so if you uh, end up subtracting something on one side of the equation, I do it from both sides, okay, or add, uh, um, adding uh, division or multiplication. Okay, these are the operations we're going to be using here. Just remember, when we apply these, when we apply these uh, operations, we're going to be doing it equally on both sides of the equation. I'll show you in terms of uh, proper format in order to do that. Now, another thing that you're going to need to uh, be really good at uh, to solve these basic algebra equations is the rules for positive and negative numbers. You're going to have to be able to add and subtract positive and negative numbers, multiply, divide. 
um, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're having uh, trouble with any of this, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel on positive and negative numbers, or you might want to check out like my math foundation course or my pre-algebra course in my math help program. Also, we're not dealing with fractions just yet in this particular uh, problem, but uh, in order to solve basic algebra equations, you're going to have to know uh, fractions and decimals as well. Just basic mathematics, but uh, these are the general principles we want to keep in mind. So, again, if you're struggling with positive and negative numbers, this is going to get you in trouble, and uh, along with fractions and decimals. So review what you need to review. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get into solving this equation. All right, so I already did it uh, because I want to kind of show you here, uh, talk about all the steps. So remember, uh, what we want to do is get all our variables to the left-hand side and all our numbers to the right. So when you're solving any equation, you want to just take one step at a time, okay? So what I'm going to do here is get this 10y over to the left, and uh, how do I do that, okay? Well, the way you want to uh, move this variable term to the left, in other words, I have a 10y here, I want to kind of link it up with this 3y, is while this 10 is actually a positive 10. So one way to move or get rid of the 10y on the right-hand side is to subtract it away. Okay, so I'm going to subtract a 10y from this positive 10y, and when I do that, I get a positive 10y minus 10y, that is zero. Okay, so that's exactly what I want to do. I want to get rid of this 10y on the right-hand side. So I'll subtract a 10y from it, okay? But remember the other rule that I talked about. Whatever you do uh, to one side of the equation, you have to do equally to the other. So if I subtract a 10y over here, I have to subtract a 10y over here. And noticing, uh, or notice, I'm putting that uh, uh, minus 10y underneath that positive 3y right there. Okay, so you see this particular format? This is exactly how you want to work. Now, another thing that I want to, uh, to kind of highlight here is that this is a positive 10y, okay? So I'm like, okay, I have a positive 10y, so I want to subtract 10y. So again, remember, uh, it kind of goes back to these, uh, uh, this inverse operation here. When you, uh, you have something that's positive and you want to kind of get rid of it, you're going to be using the opposite operation, which would be subtraction, okay? So more... Uh, about that as we go through the problem. All right, so now I have 3y plus 1 equals 10y plus 8. I'm going to subtract uh, 10y from both sides of the equation. Uh, now I'm doing that because I want to get all my variable terms to the left. Now, once it's set up this way, you just draw yourself a line like this, and then you add down in a column kind of manner. So 3, 3y plus a negative 10y, or 3y minus 10y is negative 7y. So 1 plus nothing, there's nothing here, so that's 0. 1 plus 0 is a positive 1. Okay, positive 1 plus 0, positive 1. 10y minus 10y is 0. We don't need to write that 0. That 0 just kind of disappears. So that's when I add down this way. Then 8 plus nothing is just 8. So I'm left with just an 8 on the right-hand side of the equation. Okay, so it's really important that you understand uh, the mechanics here because... Um, once you understand this, then you're pretty much just going to be repeating similar steps throughout uh, the remainder of this problem. All right, now, now looking at this, do I have all my variables to the left and all my numbers to the right? Well, no, I have all my variables now to the left. That's great, but I uh, don't have all my numbers to the right, so I'm going to have to move this number over to the right-hand side. So here I have a positive 1, okay? So how can I get rid of a positive 1 on the left-hand side? Well, I could just subtract a 1 away. Again, if it's a positive, you're going to be thinking the opposite operation, which is subtraction. Okay, so if I subtract a 1 from a positive 1, that's going to basically effectively remove it from the left-hand side. But whatever I do to the left-hand side, I have to do it exactly to the right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract a 1 from the left-hand side. i got to subtract a 1 from the right-hand side as well. So notice I'm doing the same kind of setup as the previous step. And I'm also just taking one step at a time, okay? So we have this negative 7y plus 1 equals 8. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, draw a line. And now when I add down, I have negative 7y plus nothing is negative 7y. Now notice here, I kind of wrote that negative 7y right there because I know in advance that positive 1 minus 1 is going to be 0. I don't need to write that uh, answer. Okay, That basically disappears. So 8 minus 1 is going to be 7. 
Okay, so now we just kind of uh, took this equation uh, down to this point, negative 7y is equal to positive 7. So let me ask you right here, this negative 7 in front of this y, what operation is this? Okay, hopefully you, you recognize that this is negative 7 times y. Okay, anytime you have a number like 6x, a number in front of a, a variable, this means multiplication. Okay, so we have multiplication going on here. Let's go back up here. So if we have multiplication, we're going to be thinking uh, division, okay, in terms of the step that we're going to be taking uh, to get to uh, the solution to this equation. All right, so we have multiplication going on here, so I'm going to be thinking division. So what I'm going to be doing is dividing both sides of the equation by this negative 7, and that's this step right here. So notice, again, uh, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other side. So the objective when you're solving the equation is just to get the variable by itself. So in this case, we want y, okay, or a positive one y. So the way to do that is to divide whatever number is in front of that y, both sides of the equation by that particular number. Okay, so let's go down here. So negative 7y is equal to 7. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by this negative 7. So negative 7 divided by negative 7 is a positive 1y. We don't write 1y, we just write a y, so that is the solution. And 7 divided by negative 7 is negative 1, and that is the solution to this equation. All right, so how did you do? Okay, well, if you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and an A+. Plus. That's excellent. But how did you do in terms of writing out your steps? Did you write each step? Were you nice and neat? Would you turn in your paper and your teacher could just kind of grade you step by step by step? That's what I'm uh, looking for. And if you did that, well, then I must go ahead and give you a good old 19, uh, let's, uh, let's see here, 1984. That was a good year. A 1984 nice mohawk, uh, mohawk uh, haircut. I can't even think, probably because I'm thinking back uh, a long time to when I was in high school. I never wore, I promise you, I never wore this haircut, but a lot of my friends did. They thought they were pretty cool. And uh, I thought they were pretty cool as well. Just as you being able to solve this problem, that is pretty impressive. But uh, this was a pretty easy problem. Okay, There's even easier problems that you need to master before you even uh, take on uh, these basic algebra problems. But listen, uh, this is basic algebra. We all start learning um, algebra at some point. Okay, So it might be basic for some of you out there, but it might be the first time uh, for others of you out there that you're studying this stuff. So wherever you're at, just remember you want to learn uh, the uh, correct approach to uh, solve equations. You want to practice correctly. Don't want to do 10 problems incorrectly using uh, the uh, poor method. All you're going to do is get frustrated and then you're, you're going to want to just kind of give up because you don't want to do that. You'll want to just take things one step at a time. And if you need simpler problems to kind of start from, I'm going to give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on how to solve equations in my YouTube channel. And then two, I would suggest uh, either my Math Foundations course or my Pre-Algebra course. Uh, of course, you can find all this stuff at my Math Help program. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.